Oasis Ulad said. The trees bear fruit and the water whispers on a patch of fertile land lost in the desert immensity of the Sahara. Water is the blood of the desert and hundreds of oases scattered across the Sahara seem like fertile islands on a vast and desolate desert. The common conception of the oasis suggests a romantic image undulating palm trees on the shore of a mirror of crystal clear water, from which the nomads replenish their supplies before moving on through the desert. The image is idyllic, but somewhat far from reality, because some oases, such as Uled said in Algiers, are permanently inhabited by farming communities. Thanks to its palm trees and vegetable crops, Ulad said is a picturesque and attractive place where women's dresses add a splash of color to the streets lined with red clay houses. The oasis contrasts strongly with the surrounding landscape of the Great Western Erg. Their huge dunes rise like waves on a sandy sea, the unrelenting sun rises like waves on a sandy sea, the unrelenting sun raises the summer to 49 degrees Celsius or even more. A lost traveler, without water and without the possibility of sheltering in the shade, would die of sunstroke and dehydration in 48 hours. The residents of Uled said are mostly vegetables, they work patches of irrigated land on which they grow vegetables, vines, figs, peaches, oranges and, of course, the most expensive dessert crop, dates. Among the palm trees, a few pillars mark the place of the former slave market, poor unfortunates who worked to build the irrigation canals, called Fagera facilitating today's well-being of the inhabitants. Drinking water is brought from underground, from a vast, thick, sandy sponge in places up to 1,800 meters. The date, they say, likes to stay with its head in the fire and its feet in the water. Like the camel, this tree is essential for desert life and, as a result, it is treated with respect and love, like a close relative, myths and legends being created around it. One of these narrates that Allah incorporated the date from the field that remained after creating Adam. Others claim that, after driving Adam out of heaven, God asked him to cut his hair and nails and bury them, from which a tree with juicy leaves would have grown. The Tree of Life It is said that every kernel develops close relationships with its fellows. If one dies, his close friend mourns him and stops bearing fruit. A female tree dies if its mate dies. The fruit of this precious tree is a staple food, which can be eaten fresh or dried and stored in flour. No part of the tree is wasted, the trunk is used for its wood and as fuel, the fibrous bark is woven into ropes, fences and roofs are made from the branches, and baskets, brooms, bags and sandals are made from the leaves. A sweet syrup is obtained from the juice of some date species, and that of young dates can be subjected to fermentation to obtain a tasty, but very strong wine. Even the kernels are not thrown away, roasted and ground, coffee is made from them an alternative to hot tea served on cold dessert evenings.